Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 25 of May I Scrap Lift You. Ooh, we are really winding down and we are in the home stretch of May I Scrap Lift You. And of course it is the 25th, so welcome to Christmas in May where some of my lovely scrappy friends and I, we get together on the 25th of every month and we do something Christmassy, whether that be catching up on our December documented projects, trying to get ahead uh, for what's coming by doing uh, some little DIY projects or little handmade gifts or cards, uh, whatever inspires us Christmas wise on the 25th and we, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, come and share it with you. Now you can see the lovely layout that I'm scrap lifting up here in the corner and it is by Kristen, Kristen Foster, who is scrapping on the fly here on YouTube. And Kristen is a newer friend. We, we got to know one another a little bit more during the 30 Days of Sketches Series 9, in fact, where she participated every single day. And that's where I got to know um, her YouTube channel, which is just, just awesome. So, of course, make sure you pop on over and see what Kristen has. She's been playing along with May I Scrap Lift You for the entire month. Now, the layout that I'm doing today is one that Kristen did during the four seasons in one month. So she used one of the awesome sketches by Lisa, Lisa Sikorsky, uh, from Scrap a Sketch. So I'll have that Facebook group link down below as well. Now, I didn't go back and look at the sketch. I know I have it saved for me to actually use the sketch. Um, I'm not sure. I Part of me thought I had already done this sketch, but looking through my things, I can't really find it. So what I did today, of course, if you look, is I turned it on its side because this is going to go into is going to go into my December documented album and actually my friends I think this is the very last layout to go in I have one page I think it'll go there uh, now this is probably not really the place for it so I just might have to reorganize very very slightly because I think it should probably go here so I just may have to move a couple of things about slightly. Uh, but I just wanted to get this in the album. And this is what our area looks like when we get ready for that week. Because it used to be when we started that really the big, big day was um, the 24th. Then we sort of were able to spread it over the 23rd and 24th. And then the 22nd. 23rd and 24th and now quite frankly we have been able to sort of smooth the curve out a little bit over four crazy days but not one absolutely off the charts so this is getting ready we have a container uh, that that we have to get to supplement our own freezers and this is as it says, Christmas ready. So this is my nephew. This is Joey, probably on the 20th, 21st. One of those, you know, doing the thumbs up. We were done. We had the stock. We were ready for the onslaught. And I always like to get a shot of that into my album because it's always when we get to that point, we figured out all of the weather. We've got everything in stock. We sort of can calm down a bit and just enjoy the ride. So that's what this is. Now, um, this is a six by eight, obviously. So I took the 12 by 12, of course, brought it down to a six by eight, turned it on its side. So, and I used Vicki Booten's Christmas Magic, uh, Warm Wishes Christmas Magic. Oh my gosh. Uh, what was that now? Wasn't that the Chamel collection years ago? I think, anyway. <laughs> Warm Wishes, my friend, and everything, all of the papers, the embellishments are all from Warm Wishes, with the exception of this lovely little Dottie About Flare Flare Alicious piece, 
and these black, my favorite black stickers that I got there. So I used three different six by eight papers. Um, mine, the bottom one here extends the complete width of the page instead of having a little bit of a border the way Kristen has. My layers here are not quite unfortunately showing off the pattern paper as much as they should and as much as Kristen did but my photo I, I thought of really only doing like doing a, a double page but this doesn't need uh, a double page so I thought I would just still get it down you can still see the lovely papers and then of course I use the exact same three papers up here at the top for that lovely little strip cluster with a little holly holly leaves from uh warm wishes the christmas is from warm wishes as well as these lovely little chipboard pieces this chipboard piece and this lovely tree which you saw me trying to get on a couple of layouts i think in last month's christmas um in april probably Anyway, my friends, so we have a bit of a share for you today instead of the process, although this came together so quickly, but it basically came together in four or five uh, five-minute increments as I was doing chores on Sunday afternoon, and I had my table set up, and I was just doing a few little bits and pieces here and there. So, my friends, make sure you, you go on over and discover Kristen's channel if you have not already. As I said, Scrapping on the Fly. It is linked right in the title of this video. Make sure you pop on down and see all of my friends who are playing along with Christmas in May for this month. And, of course, as every day, everyone who is playing along with May I Scrap Lift, scrap lift You including Kristen, who's playing with us every single day. And I will see you tomorrow, my friends. Thanks for being here. Oh, would you like, let me know down in the comments, would you like a flip through? And would you like that to be my Christmas in June before we perhaps get into some of the Christmas in July fun hops that might be coming about? We usually do have some extras over and above just the 25th. So would you like that to be the June, May, uh, um, the June, Christmas in June, I should say, or would you like me to do it before then? Or are you just done with Christmas now? And it's like, you know what, I'll do your Christmas on the 25th of the month, but that's it. I'm done now. Let me know in the comments down below, my friends. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.